All right, guys, going to do a little update video of my uh, Saiga 12K. Um, I do have a review from when I first got it. Had a bunch of other stuff that uh, currently is not on the gun that I did not like. Uh, didn't feel that it was really true to the uh, Saiga legacy. And we're going to show you what I've changed and uh, what, some things that I've done to this gun. So uh, first off, you'll notice I did change the flash hider. This one here is a uh, MD Arms. Uh, Russian copy I guess it's a 10 slot flash hider same length everything's exactly the same it's really identical only thing is made by uh, MD arms here in the US these are a little bit hard to come by you cannot find them that much anymore um, if people sell them then that's the only way you can get them they don't let them listed on their site uh, in stock anymore so kind of hard to hard to get um, I did opt to go back to the uh, factory gas plug here. I did have a, um, I guess a gun fixers auto plug that it came with. Didn't like it, a little finicky, just, you know, too much to mess with. So just went ahead and threw that back on there. Um, factory handguard, it did have a quad rail. Again, didn't like it. It didn't feel true to the, uh, the Saiga gun. Um, I do like the feel of this one here. This is an actual 12K uh, handguard. It's not a modified version because this does have the AK100 series folding stock. It does have to have a hole in the handguard for the spring for the, uh, the locking latch um, for when it's folded. But this one is actually a uh, true 100% Russian made factory Saiga 12K handguard. Um, I do have another handguard like this. It is all white. It's painted white. It's uh, for the police model. Um, that was sent to me from Legion USA and uh, they were graciously enough to set me up with more parts more of the uh, the factory parts that came with it so uh, I want to thank them and go ahead and check them out legionusainc.com they have a lot of good firearms uh, a lot of good quality stuff there um, a lot of good Saiga guns and rifles shotguns uh, they do have some Vepers there and a lot of good original uh, Russian parts um, for the Saiga 12s and the Vepers. Okay, we've got our uh, eight round factory mag, K model mag. Got my uh, double lot buck in there. Home protection stuff. Let's go ahead and clear it, make sure we're good. It's good to go. Chamber's clear. Okay, you will notice that this time the bolt is polished before it was not. Um, had a little issue with the uh, previous bolt, sent it off to Legion, sent it back with a brand new bolt. Uh, figured I'd go ahead and just polish it up and smooth it out a little bit, get the action a little bit smoother. Um, I like it. It looks pretty good. Uh, runs a little smoother, you know, not as, doesn't drag as much um, because this one wasn't ma made for this model or for this gun. It was uh, for a different gun, but didn't didn't feel that it was it was good enough for this one so went ahead and smoothed that out you can see it's all polished up there took a couple days and sanding and stuff so uh, I went ahead and polished the internals also you can see here the trigger smoothed out the profile here you can see that there and then got a little bit of smoothness on the back of the trigger here um, you can see it there so profile the hammer, profile the trigger arm, and uh, it, it breaks really clean. It's really light, uh, really smooth, no dragging or anything. Feels really good. Um, I really like it. Like I said, a lot of hard work, but in the end, it's worth it. So let's go ahead and put this back on. Turn this. There we go. Okay, put the spring back on. Okay, so that's all back on. Here we go. Now, another thing you'll notice that I changed from the other video is uh, I went ahead and changed the pistol grip. This is a Tapco grip. I do have the original um, Saiga 12K uh, hand grip here. Uh, this one here is more true to the uh, Saiga 12 uh, in Russia where they're made um, 
This one here is, is exactly how they look when you get them over there, uh, the ones that they use. Uh, so the grip's not too small. I have pretty small hands. Um, fits really good. I might decide later on to get the uh, the Moloch grip that they, um, I guess it's a little bit bulkier, but I had one on the Saiga 12 that I owned previously and felt really good. It was really good in the hand. Just felt really smooth. Um, like I said, I don't have any problems with this grip here, but um, I might go ahead and change that just to go with a more authentic look. Um, like I stated before, this does have the 100 series uh, folding buttstock, and I did add this uh, recoil pad. This is a original Russian recoil pad they use for the uh, grenade launchers on some of the AKs, and I uh, ordered this from Legion and threw it on there to kind of help with the recoil a little bit. Um, it does help pretty good. It doesn't beat up my shoulder too much. After 100 rounds, it uh, doesn't really feel bad or anything. So. Um, fold this up, that's it, pretty good like I said, um, really like it, um, this is a real deal Saga 12K, it's one of the uh, most desired models uh, of the 12 gauge for the Saiga, um, really really rare piece of uh, firearm here, um, there's not many K models out there so and this is a factory built K, it's not a conversion. They did not bring it over here and then slap everything else on. This was 100% built in the Russian factory the way you see it. Um, like I said, good 12 gauge, good, uh, good home defense gun. Um, if you need to really put some lead down range, you can go ahead and certainly do that with this. Um, I do have some SGM mags and a factory 5 that came with it and an MD20 20, 20 round drum so uh, definitely have some fun with that and like I said go ahead and check out my uh, channel I've got a lot of videos of this gun on there a lot of slow motion videos um, just kinda you know throwing the lead around and having fun so that's what we kinda do out here so if you guys have any questions or anything any comments go ahead and leave them below and if you guys want to see anything else in depth maybe break it down a little more or something, I can uh, certainly show that for you. So, um, and also too, I did want to mention, the flash hider is permanently attached because this is a true K model. The K model uh, barrel length comes in at 16.9 inches. Uh, legal length is supposed to be 18 and a half, I believe. So, this does have to meet the regulations for that and that's why it has to be permanently attached so they can Consider it uh, part of the barrel. So that's why this is permanently attached. This probably will never come off. Um, but if this had an 18 inch barrel, then that could have been maybe a fluke that it wasn't a real deal K model. So that's one thing to look out for. Um, but here it is Saga 12K, updated, renewed in its uh, former beauty. So, like I said, leave comments. If you guys have any questions or anything, certainly uh, hit me up, send me a message, whatever, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. See you guys later.